ice cream scoop. Well, here we are, all set up. And something that I, I've been watching a lot of the people doing their various camera mounts and stuff. So I thought I would just show you what happens here. Um, Cause you see, um, there's the one that does the overheads. And there's the one that does the other heads. And from there, I get to I get to look around here, and get, yeah, there I can see something here. <laughs> All right. So let's just see what we got. This is a piece of jatoba. wood from South America. Um, I might even have heard it referred to as South American cherry. I'm not entirely sure about that one. But it's going to make a nice scoop. So we'll go to about there. Which means that the handle has to be about to there. So let's see what we got. For those of you with one of these and one of those, uh, let's see, pop that over there, and that can fit right in there. So now we have a point on our live center. So a little bit more, I think. Such is life, eh? Let's 
see what we can do with it. Um, I think we'll do a little sanding now and see where this has got to. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put a little bit of shine juice on that and then see where it goes. A little bit, and then a whole squish. Well, hello. I guess that's what you'd call my front yard. It's a perfect reproduction of a West Coast rainforest. Of course, it is a West Coast rainforest, and just over there it runs into the ocean. And when a scoop runs into the ice cream, it should be sturdy enough to stand up to the task. And I think this will do the trick. <laughs> do I sound like Marlon Perkins yet? Ooh. Now, I know there's lots of places that sell kits that you can make your own. But I just went to my local, it's only 40 miles that way, Great Canadian Superstore. And, uh, well, I got a $3, $3 scoop and with a little modifications, and it's ready for action. I had been given a nice piece of Chitoba, uh, and I thought it would be just right for the project. I was quite impressed by the grain Except for that one spot where it looked like that little ring was going to pop right out. And it didn't in the end, but I was, I was worried. I would like here to congratulate all of the YouTube creators who are just celebrating their first year. It's not easy getting videos out on a regular basis, and I salute your diligence. Every new face online makes us all 
able to learn that much more. And for that, I thank you as well. Inspirations are wonderful things to find. Don't know about that Robin, though. As you know, this piece of footage is actually 48 minutes long. And that Robin kept it up for the whole time. I guess the jays must be too close to the nest. Well, that about does it for this time. I should be a little more regular in my production of videos soon. And I would like to thank you all for, for sticking with me through this. You've made the journey a lot easier. So, thanks for watching, and we'll hope to see you all again next time. Bye for now. Thank you.